Forza Motorsport Update 3. This is everything you need to know, starting with the new cars, the new track, every all the all the miscellaneous information and if I have any gameplay of any of the cars any of the new stuff I will include that as well so let's jump straight into update 3. The update will be available to download on the 12th of December on all platforms and the live content such as the rivals the multiplayer series and stuff like that will kick in from December the 14th which is the Thursday. So it's another week until we can play this update. Now for the new stuff, we'll start off with the Car Pass cars for update three. Now there's actually five of these because I guess update three is gonna be five weeks long. We have the 2018 Chevrolet Rumen Racing TA Corvette. That's the first one. The 1985 Buick Performance Motorsport Somerset Regal Trans AM. The 2021 Cadillac Racing DPI VR, 2018 Lamborghini Squadra Course Hurricane Super for Trofeo Evo, and the 1983 Porsche John Fitzpatrick Racing 956. Those are the five car pass cars available this this month. Any gameplay of these, I will play them now. <laughs> What's interesting about these is this does confirm that the leaks of the new cars that we spoke about a couple of videos ago does turn out to be accurate so we'll touch on that a little bit on later on what else is new in the update well let's touch on some other new cars let's talk on these spotlight cars we have four of them these are available in the showroom every week at a 30 percent discount these can also be used in all of the new tours and rivals that they have applied for this update three. I do have gameplay of all four of these cars, which I will play after I've named them so we can hear what they sound like and see what they look like. We've got the 2020 Automobili Pininfarina Batista. We have the 2022 Ferrari 296 GTB. The 2021 McLaren Sabre, which is probably my favorite sounding out of the four. And then the 2023 Aston Martin Valkyrie. Now we did also mention the Valkyrie in my previous leak video as well. So make sure to subscribe and have a look at my other videos if you want to know what's coming a little bit earlier than most people. So those are four more new cars. It's coming apparent now that in every update for Forza Motorsport, we're getting quite a lot of really good new cars. So that's nine new cars in this update so far, and there's more to come. There's a new track and it's Hockenheim from Germany. Once again, it seems like, I don't know if it's a stretch to say that we might be getting one new track every month. That might be a bit of a stretch, but so far we've had two updates and two new tracks. So that is fantastic so far. Hock and Time is coming to the game. If I have any gameplay as of, I will play it now. Always great to see new tracks being added. Hopefully they can keep that up. What else have we got? Well, bugs and fixes. Obviously bugs and fixes are a huge thing that people are having issues with still. The game was polished a little bit as per update two, even more so for update three. Here are the kind of noted bugs and fixes that they have given us. There will be a lot more. We'll have to wait for the release notes and the changelog to cover that. But as usual, I will talk about that in a video at some point. So here are the noted bugs and fixes. Don't worry, there will be more. Cosmetics, we have some new race suits. Um, level up and suit the grid. So 33 new race suits are being added for sort of driver level milestones, level 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 100. If you're already past level 100, you'll have all of the new suits available to you when the update is live. So that's interesting to see. I didn't really think about the cosmetic side of this game yet, but now let's talk about all of the series, the new series, the new rivals, and all of the new races and stuff like that. We have a new career series, the Contemporary 
Gallery Tour. We can see all of the information about that there, the four sort of series that this is a part of and what week they start and also what the spotlight car is for each sort of tour. These are the same four cars that are available in the Spotlights Auto Show part for a 30% discount on their respective weeks. Now they don't have to be completed in a particular week but if you complete all four of them series you will unlock the next new car of this month the 2022 Pagani Huayra R. That's the 10th new car I think so that car is available through the new Contemporary Tour. There's another new career tier series, the British Marks Open Tour. So you can continue the journey of your favourite cars. Cars that you've already built in the Builders Cup can be further levelled up and upgraded in the Open Tour. You can compete with any car, but you'll be against other driver tires in British cars. So Aston Martin, Jaguar, Lotus and Mini. If you Once again, if you complete all four of them, you will unlock the next new car, the 2015 McLaren 650S. That is the 11th new car of this update. We have new featured multiplayer series, spec and open events. Here's the calendar for it, the spec series, the open series, the spotlight series, and the availability of each one. Further details and descriptions on each one of the series is here and what dates they are available. It seems to be week on week, sort of Thursday to Thursday. That seems to be the day that they're gonna pick. Just like the Horizon 5 sort of things, they seem to go Thursday to Thursday. We have new featured rivals. There are four Spotlight featured rivals. There's an extra one for VIP members in the Mercedes AMG C63 Forza Edition. And there is an extra one for all, all people on the featured new track, Hockenheim, in the Mercedes AMG 1. That seems to be the structure that they're doing. All featured rivals, there will be four main ones, one extra one for VIP players and a featured one for any potential new track. The difference is the featured one and the VIP one are available all month while the other ones are week on week. Again, they are in the same four new spotlight cars that we spoke about earlier. Accessibility, there are new accessibility sort of changes in this update as well. You can see the details here. There'll be more improvements, but I can imagine most of you who are watching this video don't need the intense accessibility settings that are shown here, so we'll skip over that. That is pretty much most of update three. We do have another announcement over on the Forza Motorsport Twitter page. Forza Motorsport are joining Xbox at the Brazilian Comic-Con in Sao Paulo and to celebrate that occasion they have gifted everyone a 2017 Acura NSX to all Forza Motorsport players. Comes with a nice fancy design on it so even if you're not interested in the design go and claim the new car at least. It's a free car, why not go and claim that? That is update three guys. Seems like a pretty solid update to me. If we've got more of these to come I'm sure it's only going to get better and better. Thank you very much for watching guys, subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later.